Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be on a pink and gold shimmery eye look, just in time for spring, so if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to do is prep my eyes with my Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer, and this is the color 125, and this just preps my eyelids to cancel out all the redness. The color I'm going to be using to set that is going to be in the Naked 3 palette and this is in the color Strange. And I'm just setting all that concealer just so everything else that I put on my eyelid is going to blend nicely together and it won't crease. Next I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Self Made palette in the color Sherbert. I'm going to be taking that color on a fluffy brush and just going in my crease and defining it just a little bit. After that I'm going to be taking my Naked 3 palette in the color Dark Side. And I'm just taking that on the same fluffy brush that I used before just to darken the crease up. It's a little orange for me so it just makes it a little more brown. Next I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette in the color Savage. This is just a super hot pink color. I'm taking that on a little blending brush and I'm putting that in the inner and outer corners of my eyes. These colors in this palette are very pigmented so you have to be careful picking it up with the brush because there's a lot of fallout. So after that I'm going to be going in with this other shade by MAC called Cranberry and this is more of a pinky purpley color and I'm just going to go over that hot pink with the same shade. Going back in with the self made palette I'm using the color Blossom with my finger and putting that on my eyelid as well as the color Trick from the Naked 3 palette I'm putting that on my eyelid as well. After that, I'm just going to be taking a clean brush with nothing on it and just going to blend out the harsh lines around my crease if I have any. Next, I'm going to be going in with my 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero by Urban Decay. This is my all-time favorite eye pencil because it stays on all day. As always, I'm going in with my Revlon Colorstay Skinny Eyeliner and I'm lining my lash line. I did apply false eyelashes, but I'm not going to include it in this video just because it took so much time. Um, and then after I'm going to be taking a liquid eyeliner pen and lining the inner part of my lash line so it blends in with the eyelashes. On to curling my eyelashes and adding mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I'm just adding a few coats and yes I know my eyeliner got messed up right here from curling them. The glue wasn't dry all the way from the eyelashes. Now onto my face, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and spraying a few sprays on my face just so then it preps it for my foundation and then I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional Pore Filler stuff and putting that in my T-zone or anywhere I have big pores. Now for foundation I'm going to be using the Lorac Porefection Foundation in the shade PR2 and I'm just going to dot that all over my face everywhere that I need coverage which is I like to have it everywhere and then I'm going to be taking my beauty blender and blending that all out. Also, if you'd like to see my foundation routine, I do have a video on my channel. I will link it below. Going back in with the Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer, I'm going to be putting this under my eyes just so then it corrects the darkness and down the bridge of my nose and blend everything out with my beauty blender. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers just because it's full coverage and it's only $5. Now to set the concealer, I use the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent and I just pack it on my beauty blender and pack it on underneath my eye. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Lorac Porefection Baked Perfecting Powder and this is in the shade PF2. And I'm just going to be setting the rest of my foundation and whatever concealer that I wasn't able to set with the powder. And then I'm going to be taking the Smashbox Contour Kit, and this is in the shade Contour and Bronze. And I'm just going to take that on a fiber brush and sculpt out my cheekbones. After about 5 minutes, you can sweep off the powder that's under your eyes, and it should be all set. Then I go in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Bliss, and I just put that on my cheeks. And then I go in with my Becca Highlighter by Jaclyn Hill and Champagne Pop in this NYX Ultra Pearl Mania Loose Pigment. And these two combinations are so beautiful. Then I go in with the color Pink Champagne and I just put in the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to line my lips with the MAC Morning Coffee Lip Liner. 
Then after that I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the shade Peony. And this is just like a nudie, pinky color, perfect for this eye look in my opinion. Last but not least, I'm going to set my face with some Max Fix Plus. Alright, so that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any video suggestions, please comment down below. Please share, like, and subscribe to my videos. And I will see you in my next video.